Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is uh, 17th of February on Wednesday. So in this video, um, I would like to review my own analysis this and last week and see what happens afterwards until now. Um, I newly created this um, a TradingView account. So this is a trading platform and on this trading view, I created a new account. So here is my new account forexk dash official so this is the new account and on this account i will keep posting my analysis and trace so you can follow me and continue to enjoy my analysis and this is connected by my twitter account also so um you can uh, actually come to my twitter account and you can see these post analysis too so before starting here uh, just a quick disclaimer this information is basically based on my own experience and knowledge so when you take trades please do with your own responsibility so um, let me review a couple of my analysis from this and last week so I created this new um, trading view account eight days ago and I have so far posted six analysis in the past on these forex pairs so um, let me review this one first, uh, Euro GBP. So let me click on this one. So Euro GBP bearish I posted on the February 11th. So this is like about a week ago. Um, I posted analysis and this is downtrending. I mentioned that the, um, no, let's see, I mentioned that this on this pound, uh, Euro pound, it's bearish because the Kumo, is bearish. When I was watching the chart, the single span B was flat and A is down and Kijun Sen down and also Tenkan Sen was down also and Chikou span below the candles. So as per Ichimoku lines, this is a strong bearish trend. So in this case, I only look for the sell chance. I never look for the buy because I am a day to swing trader. So I follow the daily or the four hour chart trend and this is a daily chart and this is a stable downtrend. So um, in this case, I look for the sell chance in lower time frames. And also I mentioned that the, uh, the market has been bounced off of this Tenkan Sen a couple of days in the past. So when the market touches the next time on this Tenkan Sen, we can expect the bounce and the market continues to go down this way, was my view. So let's see what happens afterwards. I can forward the chart by clicking this one so let's see so after this now it continuously going down this way yeah so um, it's been a consecutive bearish candles and it's going down this way so this is a power of following the trend direction when it's down trending then you never look for the buy chance you only look for the sell chance so after the analysis, the market broke the previous low at this 0.8736 level and heading towards the 0.8681 level. So because 818, sorry, 8681 level is the previous low in the weekly chart. So in this case, I still expect the market continue to go down to this price level. So that's the euro pound and what happened afterwards so the trading view is very nice because I can look back my own analysis like this way and see how the market went up, went up or downwards afterwards so the next one is the pound JPY so on this pound JPY my analysis was uptrending and I was looking for the buy actually I bought this pound JPY and now because uh, now it's going up still but uh, on the on this daily chart uh, hold on let me squeeze my face a little bit so that you can see my post so yeah I I commented like this one I commented uh, pound JPY daily shows strong bullish trend as per Ichimoku uh, because Senko span AB both up and Kijun Sen up and Tenkan Sen up and Chikou span above the price and also the gap in between Chikou span and the price is pretty wide. So this is another nice confirmation for its continuous uptrend. So I bought this pair and the stop loss is below the Tenkan Sen. 
And the reason is because in this case, once again, hold on, let me zoom in. Um, looks like I can't zoom in like this one, uh, but let me, uh, yeah, so if you can see this uh, bounce, it's been bounced off that Tenkan Sen twice before. So um, that's why when the market retries backwards and breaks the Tenkan Sen, then that should, that should be the exit timing on this daily chart. So that's why my stop loss, I put the stop loss below the Tenkan Sen and expect the market goes up continuously. So um, the target I put was the uh, initial target to be 146.062, which is a body high on the 16th of December 2019, and ultimate target to be 147.971 level, uh, which, uh, which is a weak high on the, uh, on the December last, last year. So I expect the market continue to go up in between these price levels so that's my expectation on the february 13th so now today is 17th of february sorry 17th on wednesday so let's see uh what's happening right now okay so let me forward the chart and uh, yep it's going up right now and continuously bullish oh i can zoom in like this okay so Afterwards, the market went up and keeps going up this way. So now this is in between these targets. So the retracement might happen. It might come back to the Tenkan Sen, or it might reach all the way up to the weak high over here at this 147.97. So if you haven't taken a buy yet, um, you can still look for the opportunity to buy. But once the market reaches towards this higher price, at this resistance level, then uh, you better wait for the breakout. You better wait for the breakout and retest and look for buy chance is my recommendation. But as long as Kumo up and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span above the candles, they should be bullish trend. So um, if you see the market reach to the target by this price level, but if you still see the Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span above the candles, then um, you can still look for the buy chance and expect the market breaks through upwards this way. Or simply wait for the retest at the, uh, in this case, Tenkan Sen bounce and look for the buy chance then. So that's something that I continuously look for on this pound JPY. So um, let me go to the next one that was AUD USD bullish. So, hold on, let me open this chart. Takes a bit time to load, hold on. All right, there we go. So, um, on this AUD USD, um, my analysis was like this. My analysis was that the, uh, this daily chart shows bullishness as per Ichimoku based on below confirmations. Kumo Senko Span BA up, so Senko Span B's up, A's up. And the price landed above the forecast lines on the 10th February. So the price above these yellow forecast lines exactly on this 10th February. So I expect the market continue to be bullish at the moment. So what I mentioned in this case was that the uh, I'm waiting for the Ichimoku Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross and Chikou Span breakout and expect the previous high break at this 0.78212 level, upwards like this way. But um, I won't look for buy unless there is a gold cross and Chikou Span breakout. Because um, unless it happens, the market might go sideways and it might retrace backwards to the Kumo. And Chikou Span might continue to be overlapping with the candles like this and the market might gradually go down this way according to the Chikou Span um, synchroni synchronization movement. So basically, I was waiting for the gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen and Chikou Span breakout, and let's see what happened afterwards. So let me forward the chart on this one. So um, afterwards, um, oh, okay, so if I forward the chart, I cannot see the line's movement afterwards. So let me switch it to the current market on this AUD USD. 
um, let's see, AUD USD is here in the daily chart. Okay, so yeah, right here, this is what happens afterwards. So I was expecting the market go up continuously like this way if there is a gold cross and Chikou Span breakout. So in this case, this was a bit tricky um, because uh, there was a gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen, but Chikou Span breakout didn't happen. It didn't happen, but Chikou Span is continuously following the past candles. So now it's retracing backwards and now it's going down this way. And now we see Kumo flat, Senko Span AB flat. So this is not the good timing to look for buy chance anymore. So although I see Tenkan Kijun gold cross, in this case I won't look for the buy chance. Because Kumo flat and Chikou Span exactly overlapping with the candles and the Kijun Sen is flat. So, but because of the fact that the price landed above the forecast lines on the 10th of February, and we see the gold cross of Tenkan Kijun Sen above the Kumo, I still expect the market go up continuously in the long run. So, what I'm waiting for in this case is once again the Chikou Span breakout I'm waiting for, and also Kijun Sen should point upwards, and Kumo should go up, point upwards this way. And then finally, I can expect the market breaks previous high on this 0.78212 level. Otherwise, I won't look for any buy chance on this one. Because this is basically the range market. It's in the range still, so there is no trend at the moment, but as per Ichimoku lines. So that was AUD USD daily chart and what happens afterwards. So let's see, let's move on to the next one. I yeah, so this was a continuous uptrending on the pound of JPY after I did it on this uh, on this day, 13th February. So yesterday I posted this AUD JPY uh, daily bullish trend, and I mentioned a bit about the price target by the price theory of Ichimoku. So let me open this one. So here is the analysis uh, from yesterday, 23 hours ago. And um, my analysis was like this. My analysis was that the, uh, this is uptrending, first of all. This is uptrending because the Kumo's up and Tenkan Kijin both up and the Chikou Span above the candles. So nice uptrending right now. And as per target, if I see the N wave form uh, from uh, this 18th of December, uh, sorry, this is uh, yeah 21st of December, sorry, last year, if, uh, if you count the N wave from this candlestick and goes up bullish until 8th of January this year and retrace backwards down until 28th of January and now it's going up this way. So if you see this market as time cycle in between uh, the lows are 27 bars and highs are in 27 bars then uh, these days either t yesterday or today or tomorrow might be uh, the Henkabi, so it can reverse backwards or it can continue to go up. So I think uh, this week, in that sense, um, is the Y intersection uh, whether the market goes up or down. So that's why, um, in this case, although I see these uptrends, I, I'm not really active to look for buy chance because I also expect some kind of retracement in this case. And so this is time cycle analysis by wave. But also in terms of the price price theory, the target price theory, uh, this uh, this price level 82.69 is also the target V and N by Ichimoku. So um, so that means if the market reaches to this level, 80 point uh, sorry 82.69 level, then it it can retrace backwards this way. So. Um, that's why I'm, I'm not really looking for the buy chance on this one, although I see the nice uptrend. So let's see what happens afterwards until now, today. So let me forward the candle. Okay, so now we see a very tiny and small candlestick right now forming. So um, at this point, we're not still sure if this is going to be uptrending or flat ranging uh, in the in near future. For now, this is uptrending uh, because the Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen still moving up. 
Um, let me switch it to the real chart on this um, AUD JPY daily chart. No, let me switch it to the AUD JPY. Okay, so here is what's happening right now. So this is a daily chart. And um, so on this end wave from uh, 21st of December last year, on this end wave, the price is reaching towards the target VNN target. So, um, and now we see a very tiny and small candlestick over here. So this might be nothing. Uh, we have to wait for the candle close uh, in 14 hours. So we have a plenty of time until we have to wait, confirm the candle close. But um, so in this case, I look at the Kumo and Kijun Sen angles. So now we see Kumo Senko Span B flat. Senko Span A is technically moving up. And Kijun Sen is flat at the moment. And Tenkan Sen is up and a chikou span above the candles. So this is too bullish. The momentum is too bullish, but in terms of direction, this is a flat now because Senko span B flat and Kijun Sen is also flat. So I wait until, I wait for the confirmations where the Kijun Sen goes flat. Sorry, this is Kijun Sen. And so I wait for the Kijun Sen goes up sometime today and then look for the buy chance afterwards. Or I look at the 4-hour chart. I look at the 4-hour chart and see if the Kijun Sen and Kumo are uptrending. And oh, so I can see that the, in 4-hour chart, it's slightly moving up. I see Senko Span B flat, but A is up and Kijun Sen is slightly pointing upwards now. So I can see the potential bullishness in this case. So I can look at the lower time frames to look for exact buying edge and expect the market breaks higher this way. At this 82.69 level, which is V and N target, I can expect the market breaks through continuously upwards. Um, or uh, if you want to be safer, uh, you can wait for the breakout and wait for the retest and enter buy over here. Um, it's your call. Um, usually, I won't. I don't wait for the breakout. Um, I just enter the market before the breakout and expect the breakout. Otherwise, I just exit with a very small uh, risk per trade. So this is all about risk management, but um, this is basically what I think about the market. So that's AUD JPY and what happened afterwards. So let's see and. I posted um, another analysis today, which is uh, pound USD. So pound USD is still long and bullish trend. So um, yeah, so basically this is forming. Still, I think the candlestick still forming, but this is uptrending now because Kumo up and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span above the candles. So and hold on, let me zoom in on this one so basically in this case i'm waiting for the breakout of this doji candlestick uh, so i'm basically waiting for the breakout at this zero uh, sorry at this 1.3953 area and buy look for the buy chance in lower time frames or i wait for the retest and buy afterwards or I look at the lower time frame, I, might, I look at the 4 hour chart and look for the buy chance. So that's my analysis on this trading view analysis here. So um, I think this is a nice way to look back my own analysis so that um, um, I know, so that you, you know what I'm doing and also you know what I look at afterwards, after I do the analysis. Because this was one of my dilemmas, was that the, uh, you know, I do the analysis every day, I give you some, uh, my market overview every day, but uh, it was very difficult to track what happened afterwards. But by using trading view like this way, um, I can, I can uh, explain myself on what happens afterwards and also what I do, where to exit, and if the market retries backwards, then when to exit, I can talk about in this way. So that's why I decided to create a new account 
on this trading view so that I can also look back and explain uh, the way I look at these markets every day. So yeah, once again, you can uh, you can follow me on this forexk-official so that uh, you can track my analysis or you can simply follow on my Twitter account because I connect this account to Twitter so uh, these analysis also are going to be tweet tweeted on, the, on my Twitter account. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's analysis and video. So I will see you on the next one. Okay, and I do the extensive uh, lecture and coaching here on this global trading school. And the next one is opening in April this year. So if you're interested, please uh, write me an email so that um, I can put you on the members list. Alright, so I hope you have a great, great day today. And thank you for watching until the end. Stay gold, everyone. Matane. Thank you.